What's up, everybody? What this basically is, is it's called Intro to Plants. After the Game Changers came out, there was a lot of hype and a lot of questions around going plant-based. And so for the last two and a half years, I have been plant-based. Um, and so a lot of people were asking me questions. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a video where I go grocery shopping and where I cook a bunch of these plant-based foods for everybody and make them taste awesome. So that's exactly what I did. So what you can look forward to in this next two-part series is one, go grocery shopping with me, plant-based style. So I'm gonna show you around the grocery store, what to get, what not to get, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and then in the second video, what you can expect is cooking. So how to make what we bought tastes good and how to cook all of these plant-based things so you, so you can enjoy the journey so it can be sustainable and so you don't you don't have to hate tofu like there's a way to make it taste good um and just to open up your eyes to all the different sources that are available now um Things are packed with protein. They're super good for your body, super good for your heart and all of these things. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this intro to plant series. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if there's anything else you wanna see regarding plant-based stuff, please let me know. So yes, so enjoy the grocery shopping video. We go to Trader Joe's and we go to just a normal regular supermarket. And then also enjoy the cooking video. And with the cooking, I encourage you guys to get creative, put sauces on stuff, burn it up, caramelize it, like play, okay? And have so much fun. I want, I want your shift to going plant-based to be like easy. The reason why I made these videos is because I want this to be easy for you. I want it to be enjoyable. I don't want it to be intimidating because there is another way to do things. You just have to learn how to do it. So if I can help you even just a little bit and make it a little more um, easy and enjoyable and sustainable. And then so maybe you can teach other people. That is my goal. And that was my intention with these videos. So I hope you enjoy them. And again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave, it, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, peace and love you guys, enjoy the series. All right guys, here we are at King Supers. Like I said, this is kind of like your big box supermarket where you can find almost anything. Um, yeah, let's go in. All right everybody, first off is the produce aisle. This is where I spend most of my time. You got your fruits, you got your veggies, everywhere here. <laughs> Something that you do want to be careful of if you're going to go super, super vegan. And we'll talk about this in another video, but there are different levels to like how plant-based you really want to go. Uh, some of the fruit is actually coated in beeswax, like um, oranges, for example. So that is something that if you're going to go super, super vegan, you just want to be really careful of. Um, but as far as that, we're going to go get some greens, we're going to get some fruits, we're going to get some veggies. And yeah. Okay, guys, so fruits and veggies are pretty much all vegan. I don't know that I need to go through all of the fruits and veggies in this area, um, but basically, the really cool thing about that is you can eat as much as you want of the veggies. Fruit, you kind of have to be, you know, use your discretion, but veggies is all game. You can eat as many as you want. So much phyto and micronutrients in this area over here. Yes, so much good vegan food. So fruits and veggies, all you, baby. I just wanted to stop real quick on the jello aisle. If, um, if it's around holiday season, which it is for us right now, uh, jello or, or instant pudding, some of these do not have any dairy in it, so it's actually a great way to make like Oreo dirt cake or Boston cream cake. <laughs> so uh, Jell-O is actually can be a really safe option to make desserts for holiday time or for birthdays or for celebrations. Coconut oil. I have to stop here and show you guys coconut oil. Um, I use this for everything. I use it for sauteing, cooking. I don't even really use any of the pans anymore because I just put this to like coat my pan so it doesn't stick. Uh, I also use this as a moisturizer on my hands, on my face, and on my feet. So coconut oil is an all around super good product. Hey guys, so keep in mind, just because you're going plant-based does not mean you can't enjoy awesome breakfast pancakes and waffles. This is the one that we actually get and notice it's the heart smart one. So plant-based or not, this is the way to go. Um, this has no dairy in it and you can still have awesome pancakes and waffles. Nuts. <laughs> this is the nut, the bulk nut aisle where I spend a lot of my time. Uh, this is a really, really great source of protein, omegas, so super awesome healthy fats um, and a great source of protein, especially for plant-based people. And there are so many different options to choose from. You can get salted, not salted. You can get seeds, you can get pumpkin seeds. Um, my, one of my favorites is this one right here, the Mighty Omega. This has craisins, um, almonds, cashews, and dark chocolate. And dark chocolate is safe for vegans. Hey, hey, hey. Spice aisle. Guys, spices are amazing. This is one of my favorites. It's also at Trader Joe's. It's everything bagel seasoning, OMG, with some noodles and some coconut oil. 
It's almost like you can't stop. Um, and then they also have things like salt-free, garlic and herb, whatever, whatever. But all of these are vegan. Unless for some reason they contain milk or eggs, which is probably very unlikely. But I just want to point something out. A lot of times when people just really, really like the taste of meat, what they really like is the spices on it. I don't think they actually like the taste of like plain bland chicken. So just keep that in mind as you're shopping and getting creative with your own recipes. Uh, spices is an amazing way to go. And they're like calorie free. Let's talk about peanuts for a second. Peanut butter or almond butter. So there are so many different uh, brands, varieties, ways to do your almond butter and peanut butter. This is the way that I figured out most recently. It's actually the cheapest way. And it has one ingredient, peanuts. You can see it clear as day. Um, it, I mean, and it goes into a plastic container, which isn't the best that you want to do. Um, but it's much better than getting kind of like this, the the regular store-bought one where it has a lot of palm oil, sugar, and all these other additives in it. So this is kind of the most natural, awesome way to get your peanut butter or almond butter. This is clogged right now or else I would fill this whole thing up. So we're at the canned veggie aisle. Um, something I just want to point out to you while we're here is sweet peas. So if you didn't know, green peas have actually a good amount of protein in them, like four grams per serving. And there's three and a half servings in here. So just note that green peas is a great way to get some extra protein in. And also, canned veggies is a good way to get some more veggies in. Um, I go for the no salt added. Personally, it's sometimes just an easier way than the frozen veggies. Um, so just know that there are all different kind of veggies that you can get depending on what season they are. And when it's cold out, who's ready for some veggie soup? Let's talk about beans. Beans are an amazing natural way to get a ton of good nutrients and protein. My favorite are garbanzo beans. I personally like to saute them with sweet chili sauce, um, but there are black beans, kidney beans, northern beans, all kinds of different beans. Um, this is a, usually a staple in a vegan diet and they are super tasty and really cheap, guys. So you can get them canned or you can get them um, kind of in the bulk, like in the bag of them, then you cook them yourself, it's a little harder. Um, but beans, super awesome. All right, let's talk condiments for a second. So typically condiments are gonna be plant-based. Uh, one of my favorites is sweet chili sauce and teriyaki sauce and soy sauce. So a lot of the Asian spices and seasonings and condiments are plant-based and totally safe. What you do have to watch out for though is barbecue sauce. So every once in a while, for whatever reason, companies will put anchovies in barbecue sauce. So as you're going plant-based, just make sure you're kind of reading the labels on your barbecue sauce because we got freaked out one time and. For a while, we were gung-ho on this barbecue sauce and then turned around and it said anchovies, okay? So just be careful. Okay, let's talk quinoa, 100% um, whole grain, 100% ancient grain. This is an amazing, amazing superfood and it's packed with nutrients and protein. This is a staple in our house for us and our dogs. Um, if you guys need to get some whole grains in your diet, I highly suggest quinoa. And just a little tip, you can actually make this for like breakfast. Like you can put some berries and some uh, dairy-free yogurt in it and it is insane. Okay, get some quinoa. So since we're in the rice aisle, I just wanna show you guys some of the really neat things that uh, stores are starting to come out with. So these are veggie rice or cauliflower rice. The ingredients in here is basically just broccoli and cauliflower, but they rice it up and they make it super easy. You can just microwave it or you can eat it hot or cold. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys all the different kind of options if you wanted to go a little bit lower carb with your rice, veggie rice. Okay, tomato sauce. So uh, there are a ton of different ways that you can get your tomato sauce. Some of them actually do have milk and eggs in it. So you just wanna be careful as you're kind of picking and choosing your sauces that you make sure that it's just pure ingredients with no dairy. But tomato sauce is a great addition to make to your a lot of your plant-based dishes, especially pasta primavera. Let's talk about salsa. So most salsa is just tomatoes cut up with like peppers and onions and a bunch of different spices. Salsa is a great way to season up your dishes and it's pretty low calorie. So grab some salsa, there's all different kinds. All right guys, let's talk about pasta. So typically pasta is okay. You just wanna uh, turn around and read the label and make sure it's not like egg pasta or doesn't have any dairy in it. But these I do wanna print, uh, point out to you because they are packed with protein. As you can see, they're made from chickpeas. Um, some of them are made from red lentils or green lentils. Uh, but essentially, these are super high protein packed pasta. So for example, um, this one serving, it has 13 grams of protein in it, which is huge. So if you do this with a little bit of tofu or tempeh, you're right up there with 20, 25 grams of protein. So double check whenever you go to the pasta aisle and just see if there's anything that you can get that's made with chickpeas, lentils, even brown rice pasta is really good for you as well. All right guys, let's talk about candy. I found the candy aisle. 
First things first, Justin's. This is a great alternative to Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and you still get the chocolate cuppy peanut butter goodness, okay? So check out Justin's. Also, I wanna come down here and Skittles are totally plant-based and so are Twizzlers. So there's no gelatin in them, uh, totally safe. Probably one of Ian's favorite little snacks. Um, so there's this and this. Starbursts are plant-based, but you have to get them in the little mini pack. So the ones that are actually wrapped are not plant-based. I think they have gelatin or something that is not allowed in there. Um, but you can get the mini ones and it's perfectly fine. So real quick guys, uh, Rufus Teague, this is one of the ones that we were really liking and it actually has sneaky little anchovies in it. And this is another thing I wanna bring up while we're in this aisle. So depending on how plant-based you wanna go, um, there are barbecue sauces with like honey in it and stuff like that. If you're gonna go super vegan, that's probably something you might wanna avoid. Um, but if you're just going vegetarian or you don't wanna take it super serious just yet, um, things with honey in it are typically just fine. I found the Belvedis, guys. Probably one of my all-time favorite snacks. I put this with bananas and eat it and it's really, really good. So these are all plant-based. You're totally fine with all of these. Most graham crackers you're good with. And then also I wanna bring you down here. This is one of my favorite cookies. Okay, Nature's Bakery. First things first, I'm gonna point out these. Okay, double chocolate brownies. These are insane and they're so good and they're made with like fig. There's no high fructose corn syrup. So these are great and they're plant-based. Second thing I want to point out, these, okay, normal Oreos are totally vegan and plant-based, you're good with those, but these are just like one step up, it's like a gourmet Oreo and it is fire. So, something that we love in our house is to make different kind of like tortilla wraps. Uh, a great way to do this is with, you can cut up some tofu, saute it up uh, with brown rice and some veggies. You can do beans, a bean burrito, uh, but either way, we love to make things with wraps. Okay guys, we're in the chip aisle. Uh, some of my favorite things down this aisle, it's a little packed, so I'm not gonna go down there, but we have barbecue chips, the bolder kind are amazing. Um, and then also my favorite thing to get is rice cakes. I love to put rice cakes with a little bit of peanut butter, almond butter, and some bananas. Awesome news. Bagels and most English muffins are in fact plant-based. So if you're looking for some more breakfast options, you can put some tofu on a bagel, or just have bagel with peanut butter, or do some English muffins, but either way, breakfast stuff is actually pretty covered for you. We're in the cereal aisle. Probably my favorite aisle in the whole grocery store. It's not really the most healthy option, but a lot of them are plant-based. So one of our favorites is Mom's Best Cereals. They have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They have like these little cocoa squares uh, or these little cocoa balls. And I love Raisin Bran. Ian loves these peanut butter Cheerios that we found and they are completely plant-based. Um, there's other things in this aisle like life cereal there's rice checks there's rice krispies actually double check the rice krispies because sometimes they're not always plant-based so some of your favorite awesome cereals like apple jacks are in fact plant-based so there is some like red 40 and these blue things that you might want to look up and just make sure where the source comes from but if we're going like just pure ingredients that one is plant-based okay guys here we go these are some of our favorite peanut butter cheerios so good uh, cinnamon swirls, my all-time childhood favorite, kind of like cinnamon toast crunch, same thing. And then frosted flakes, they're covered in sugar, not dairy, so that's awesome. <laughs> okay guys, this is the little plant-based section that every grocery store has, pretty much everyone has. Um, so, I just wanna show you guys what you can look forward to here. So, smoky tempeh. This is basically like bacon bacon, tastes just like bacon, but it's made out of tempeh and it's seasoned just like bacon. So this is awesome to add for like a morning tofu scramble or like a breakfast burrito on a bagel or something like that. Um, we have tofu puffs. So if you have kids that really like hot dogs, but you want them to go plant-based, uh, tofu puff, puffs and smart dogs are great ways. And I've actually had both of these and they're, they're actually pretty good. Um, then we're coming over to like the plant-based sausages. They actually do a very, very good job of making these taste amazing. So, meatless Italian sausages. We got kielbasa. And then we got a meatless chorizo. So, what something that I love to do is chop these up and saute them with my tofu, and it makes just like this awesome scramble. They also have plant-based deli slices if you really like to make a sammy or two. All plant-based. Um, and then down here, I, I'm excited to tell you about seitan. So, 
So this is seitan. Uh, it's basically just vital wheat gluten. You do have to be a little bit careful as far as like eating this in very high quality quantities. It kind of glues up your intestines. <laughs> so my suggestion with seitan, if and when you do get it, is to just kind of have it in smaller quantities. It's great on pizza. It's great with a tofu scramble. Um, really, really, really tasty. I overdid it on the seitan and now I learned my lesson. <laughs> This is jackfruit. You can also find this in a can and season it up yourself. This one is teriyaki and they have a barbecue one. It mimics barbecue pork or chicken and it's really great with like rice or again in a wrap or a burrito. Jackfruit is probably one of my favorite brands, Field Roast. They have amazing sausages. And just to give you um, a little idea, this is with eggplant, fennel, garlic, and red pepper is what they make this with. And then check out this, I've never seen this, classic meatloaf. All plant-based. If you like meatloaf, we got you. Tofu. Tofu is one of my favorite dishes to have. Tofu and tempeh, and they're both right here. So tofu, I always get that extra firm tofu. I personally don't like squishy things. It's, it's a texture thing. So I get the extra firm tofu and I either air fry it or put it in a pan and saute it. And then there's also tempeh. So they're both made from soybeans. This is actually one more step uh, processed or fermented than the tempeh is. Tempeh, this, our favorite way to cook tempeh is slice it up, put it in the air fryer, and then cover it in barbecue sauce. So, so good. Um, let's go back to tofu for a second. So there are all different ways that you can actually buy tofu. Um, this one comes in a twin pack for whatever reason, they just sell it a little different. But they have firm, extra firm, and then down here they have organic silken tofu. So this is like really um, soft, it's squishy, it makes great smoothies. Super frothy, super creamy. Silken tofu is a great way to make desserts. So tofu can be, it's very versatile, it just depends on how you actually season it. Um, and a lot of people screw up when they cook tofu because they don't know how to cook it or season it. Um, but it's actually super simple. Think of it just like you would chicken. So take it out of the package and saute it up into a pan till it's golden brown and you are good to go. So don't be afraid of tofu, it's super cheap. Honestly, $1.79 for a pack of tofu and that'll probably give you two or three meals. $1.79, okay? It's cheap. Yogurt! <laughs> so they finally have dairy-free yogurt. This one is almond milk and this one is coconut milk. Um, both super, super good alternatives to yogurt. Put this in everything. Put it on your pancakes and your smoothies or just eat it right out of the tub like I probably would. <laughs> um, but you can see it's pretty normal price, I mean, versus like regular yogurt. So not that this is outrageously expensive, but it is definitely worth trying. All right, we got the butter, okay? So there are some great options for plant-based butter. Um, this one is one of my favorites, actually. Um, it's non-GMO and it's vegan. So this is like, I guess like a margarine, but it tastes just like butter, it's so good. And they even have one that's made with olive oil. So um, don't be afraid, guys, butter is still a thing. <laughs> Milk, one of my favorite things to pick out in the grocery store. There are so many different options. Um, so they have almond milk, cashew milk, soy milk, oat milk, and coconut milk. Lots of milks that you don't have to get that are not dairy. And guys, the thing about dairy is that like, I don't think we're actually supposed to digest dairy. We don't naturally have the lactase enzyme, which is why we get upset stomach, acne, our body just freaks out when we have a lot of dairy. So this is an amazing way to save yourself some calories and save yourself some stomach upset and to still get your milk in. So they have all different kinds now. So they have chocolate, they have vanilla. My favorite is cashew almond milk. And look how low these calories are. 25 calories per cup. Um, and then there's also, this is vanilla, so this one's actually gonna be sweetened a little bit and it is so, so, so tasty and so sweet. Um, one of our other favorite things to get for milk, okay, this bad boy right here. This is chocolate protein. This has pea, almond, and cashew milk in it and it's amazing for making smoothies. If you blend this up with ice and bananas, it is like a frosty from Wendy's, but not because it's plant-based. <laughs> um, so these are all the different kinds and you'll see there's soy. Soy is a little thicker, a little creamier. It, it's actually pretty tasty and don't stop worrying about soy, you're fine. Um, almond milk is gonna be a little more watery and oat milk is gonna be um, also a little more thick and creamy. Uh, and then also, let's while we're in the milk section, let's also talk about creamers. So creamers for your coffee, they have almond milk and cashew milk creamers that are perfectly fine and so tasty and so thick and creamy that you don't ever need half and half ever again, okay? A quick and easy breakfast, 
Vans waffles are plant-based. Good to go with those. And let's keep going down the frozen aisle. Okay. Meatless meat crumbles. This is a staple in our house. 12 grams of protein per serving. Super awesome and tasty. Um, and then something else they have over here is veggie burgers. This one in particular has millet, sweet potatoes, leafy greens, and quinoa. Super awesome, good tasting, so good for you. So corn, this you just have to be careful with when you buy, because we bought some corn stuff before and it actually had egg whites in it. Um, but like these, for example, are vegan. They are meatless buffalo dippers. Super tasty, tastes just like a boneless chicken wing, okay? Frozen dinner, super easy to prepare. It's not always the first, the best first option, but just know these are available. We got Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. Every time you see chicken like that, it's not actual chicken, it's like plant-based chicken. And then there's also stuff like General Sal's tofu. So grocery stores are doing a really good job today of giving you so many different options and making it really quick and easy to eat plant-based. So they're trying, they're doing a great job. All right guys, we're in the cheese section. So if you're like me, you like a little bit of cheese from time to time or you like to make your own pizza. So Daya does a really good job of making cheese. It's not perfect, it sticks to your teeth a little bit, but it gets the job done. So they have um, cheddar, they have like regular slices or they have it shredded. Um, there's also other kind of uh, brands that they have. This one's like, like an almond uh, style. They even have strawberry cream cheese that is plant-based. So there's no dairy in this whatsoever. So they have this and they also have um, a bunch of different normal plain style cream cheese. They have burritos, breakfast burritos, lunch burritos, any kind of burritos that you want to get. Super awesome tasting and all plant-based. And I mean, they're a little expensive, but you're paying for convenience with these, okay? Let's talk about ice cream, guys. They have a ton of different amazing options and I encourage you to try them all. My favorite, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it, is the Natamu cookies and cream. I don't know what it is about the vanilla ice cream that's in here, but it is incredible. So we got Natamu. Um, we have So Delicious. There are, a, they have a ton of different flavors now. Chocolate truffle. They even have Snickerdoodle. I don't see it right here. Um, and these, there's also vanilla bean almond dessert. So when you see almond dessert, that typically means it's dairy free and you're good to go. Um, but look at all of these different options. Natamu birthday cake. Heck yeah. Um, and I don't see it in front of me, but Ben and Jerry's actually has a couple really, really good options. My favorite is peanut butter Oreo. They actually put like whole Oreos in there. So just know guys, desserts are not out of the question, especially if you go plant-based. You are so taken care of. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Let's talk about pizza. So um, if you don't really want to make your own pizza, Daya does a really good job of giving you a ton of different options for plant-based pizza. Uh, this one, Cheese Lovers, and this one right here is Fire Roasted Vegetable. Probably two that we would definitely get. <laughs> uh, but just know that pizza is not out of the question either, guys. Our last little section in the frozen aisle, I just want to say one for record, fruit is totally vegan, the frozen fruit that you want to put in your smoothies, and then also french fries. So that's something that we kind of have a lot, is french fries, sweet potato fries, things like that. Um, but our last little section, I just want to show you all of the different cool uh, meat replacement options. So let's start in here. Now, I will tell you, Morningstar is not the best, most healthiest brand that you want to get, but it's fine, guys, it's fine. It's better than getting meat. So they have a ton of different um, veggie burgers. They even have chicken tenders. Uh, let's see. Morningstar has egg in it. Um, different kind of buffalo wings, falafel bites. There's chicken strips. Um, there's different kind of sausage links. So Morningstar does a great job of keeping the price pretty low and giving you a bunch of different options. Um, but let's go, we're gonna go over one little door here. And I'm just gonna show you, so this is probably a step up from Morningstar is Gardein. So chicken tenders, we have these quite a lot in our house. Um, Boca also does a good job of having some veggie burgers for you. And this is new. So X Burger, this is plant powered uh, burger. This is great, and if you guys have not, I don't think they have the Beyond Beef Burgers here, but if you have a chance to get the Beyond Beef Burgers, I highly suggest you get those. It's a great way to get people who like really love burgers into eating plant-based burgers, because it's, it's that good. Sometimes I have to double check and be like, is this, is this for real plants? Um, let's see what else. Uh, another kind of veggie burger, black bean and quinoa burger, and this whole thing right here is $3.49 right now, so, and you get four patties, so they're, 
it's it's actually a pretty good price, guys. It's not that much more expensive. In fact, it's probably cheaper. Uh, let's see what else. Again, these little classic chicken tenders are my favorite. Let's see. Uh, down here, they have more of the beefless ground veggies crumbles. So this is this is great for tacos, burritos, things like that. And that's pretty much the gist of the meatless meats. So we got veggie burgers, we got chicken tenders, we got breakfast sausage, and we have sausage links. You're set, guys. You are. Well, everybody, that was our quick grocery shop tour. Just to show you like how many options are actually are available. You are not missing out on anything, I promise you. And there are so, there's a whole world of possibilities and they just keep getting better and better. Guys, I'm excited to tell you that this is the way of the future. And I implore you, I encourage you to go to your grocery store, get excited, get creative, and go plant-based, guys. It's easy. All right, guys, now we're gonna head into one of our favorite stores, Trader Joe's, just so we can find a little more specialty items. And I just wanna give you guys a better idea of what you can expect at grocery stores. So, let's go. I love it here. Okay, so we're not gonna go to do the produce because we already did that at King Supers. Um, we're gonna head over to the meat alternative section just so I can show you guys the tofu and tempeh. This is usually where we stock up on tofu and tempeh. Here is the meat alternatives aisle. Something I wanna show you is this soy chorizo. It's made with texture vegetable protein and it is super good, super spicy, awesome for burritos. Um, we got the beefless ground beef, we already went over this. And here is our tempeh. So I just wanna show you guys, the tempeh here is $1.99 versus like King Supers or any other supermarket, it's usually three or $4.99. So this is where we usually come and get like 20 packs of tempeh. <laughs> um, something else they have is this like different kind of baked tofu. So this one's sriracha baked tofu. Sometimes they even have a teriyaki one. Yes, they do, teriyaki. And it's vacuum sealed, so it's actually not sitting in the brine like it is in the normal grocery store. And speaking of that, I do wanna show you something else. So, this is high protein tofu. And as you can see, it's vacuum sealed versus like this one, it's kind of sitting in the water. Uh, so this one is high protein tofu and it has 14 grams of protein per serving. So check that out guys, super high protein. And it's a really firm, which I personally like, firm crunchy. So this is one of my favorite kinds of tofu to get. You can also find this at Whole Foods, vacuum sealed high, high protein, just like this. Um, they also have the chicken tenders and the deli slices just like normal. But usually here, this is, these are the two things that we get here as well as the soy chorizo. Real quick, while we're passing by this beautiful display of desserts, I just wanna show you guys vegan trail mix cookies. And they have another one that's, I think, oatmeal trail mix cookies. But I just wanna let you know that desserts are not out of the question, guys, especially when you go to little cool, um, like, boutique stores like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or something. They do have some really cool options, and these are dangerous. So before we leave the store, I just wanted to mention protein bars, nutrition bars, any kind of bars. So um, Cliff Bars are typically plant-based. It does say may contain or process in a facility that does do this and that. Uh, to me, that's okay, so I do eat Cliff Bars, and I love Go Macro Bars, plant-based, but my favorite, my all-time favorite, is gonna have to be the Lara Bar. Um, super, just like six ingredients, not that much, and they taste so good. Um, so I just wanted to point out that there are some awesome plant-based bars that you guys can totally go for when you're in the grocery store. Great snacks. Something else I wanna to mention to you guys is dog treats. So we actually try to give our dogs basically plant-based food as well. Um, and these are awesome, peanut butter, banana. They have chickpeas, molasses, sunflower oil, all plant-based, and so are these peanut butter flavor. So these are two things that we love to give our dogs, especially with like a scoop of peanut butter on top. So just to let you know, dogs can do it too. All right guys, that was a super quick trip to Trader Joe's, but I just wanted to show you kind of the different options of tofu and tempeh that you can get. And then there are some other ways that you can get creative in a store like this. Um, so we got dog treats, we got tofu, we got tempeh, and we got some soy chorizo. Um, and I just wanna say thank you so much for coming with me on our shopping adventures today. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it and I hope that you were able to take away um, some good ideas and some inspirations for your own plant-based venture. Um, peace and love, guys. I'll see you on the next course. I'm just gonna wait for this. Something that's kind of 
Well, whatever. Okay. Good for your toot? Or what are you? Okay. Beans, beans. Wait. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna give you a quick and easy run around the wait, let me start over. Just gotta get your shit to a plant based lifestyle is easy. Hey what's up everybody? This is Danny Sko and once again I'd love to welcome you. No, one more time. Hey what's up every oh <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? This is Danny Sko, and I'm so excited to welcome you to another intro to plant. This is not a YouTube video. Here we go, ready? Yep. So anyways, guys, let's go shopping. Intro to plants, no. <clears throat> Just the last part. Okay. So any guy, look. I oh, know it's clogged. Do it. You do, you have to be careful when eating this. And I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Please let me know what you find. I am so. Ugh, let me just start it over. Okay. Well, everybody. That was our quick grocery shop tour, just to show you like how many options there actually are available. You are not missing out on anything, I promise you. And there are so, there's a whole world of possibilities and they just keep getting better and better. Guys, I'm excited to tell you that this is the way of the future. And I implore you, I encourage you to go to your grocery store, get excited, get creative, and go plant-based, guys, it's easy.